Welcome to Now, I'm your host, Curtis Parody, bringing you the news happening in the world right now. Happy Friday, everyone. I hope you're doing well and you're excited for the weekend, which may only be hours away for some, and others, well, you may live in the future, so it may already be the weekend for you. But starting off today's episode of Now, I thought I should touch on a big event that took place for the past three days in California, the event of Google I.O. The big event every year where people from Google show off some of the latest innovations from the company and also allow developers to talk to Google employees about the apps that they're making. So for the average consumer, what does this all mean? Well, it means a few different things. Nothing crazy and radical like last year when they unveiled Google Glass, but they did show off some pretty interesting things. First up, Google has now activated over 900 million Android devices around the world, pushing Android to the market leader, though it's already been the market leader for like the past year and a half. Google unveiled its new music streaming service called Google Music All Access, which allows you to stream any music from Google Play right to your desktop computer, Android phone, or tablet with a monthly fee, which is pretty sweet. For those people out there looking for a brand new Android phone, Google has a special offer for all of you. They're offering a new version of the Samsung Galaxy S4 that's completely unlocked and it's loaded with stock Android. No junk from Samsung on top of this, so it's freaking awesome, and it will come out in June for a price of $649. Google Plus got a new look this past week, if you haven't noticed that. This is what our Google Plus page looks like now, which is pretty awesome. Google also merged a number of its messaging platforms together into a brand new messaging system called Hangouts. No matter if you're on Google Plus or Gmail, on your Android-powered device, or your iPhone or iPad, you can now message between one another. Think of it like an awesome version of like WhatsApp, except it's created by Google. Also, it integrates all of the awesome Google Plus video hangout features, meaning you can now video call anyone with this new app, which is available, of course, right now for free to use, so go and check it out. Google Voice Search is coming to Chrome for the desktop. Now, this already kind of already exists with the little mic icon, but in the future, you won't even have to click that. All you have to do is say, OK, Google, then say your search thing that you want to search, and hey, it will search it for you. There's so many awesome updates from Google, though they did leave one thing many people were hoping for out. They didn't talk about Glass. Google decided not to talk about it at all. This could be because it's in the early stages of development or that they have something else planned for it in the near future. So Google put on a pretty good show, though it was like three hours long, so it took a fair amount of time for me to even like watch it through. So if you're a user of Google products and devices, you're sure to see some of these awesome improvements coming your way in the near future. From talking about tech, let's jump into some gaming news. Yesterday, The Sims 3 Island Paradise walkthrough video was released, and I have to say it's pretty freaking awesome. The video shows off a ton of new content that will be coming to The Sims 3 Island Paradise, from houseboats, underwater diving, and resort building. It looks like it's gonna be a ton of fun to play. This pack is sure to add many hours of awesome gameplay to the game. You can check out the full producer walkthrough for yourself. I've placed a link to that in the description below. One thing they didn't show off, though, were the mermaids, but maybe they're keeping that for like another live broadcast in the future, like maybe the one that's happening on the 23rd of this month. Yes, the Sims 3 team will be showing off some great new content from Dragon Valley and announcing the Sims gurus who will be helping to build the Sims 4. So mark your calendars, or you could just of course subscribe to this channel because when it happens, I'll be sure to talk about it right here on Now. From talking about great island paradises to the cold environment of Alaska. Though it's summer right now, so I assume like the large amount of snow has probably gone away and it's Probably pretty nice. Anyway, it looks like something other than snow and rain has been falling from the sky in Alaska recently. Alaskans and air travelers are on high alert today due to the rumblings of a more than 8,000 foot tall volcano. It's continuing to spew out an ash, steam, and gas cloud that extends up over 60 miles. This ash cloud is erupting from the Pavlov volcano and is one of two volcanoes that are on the watch status due to its heightened activity. So far, along with the ash cloud, the volcano is also leaking lava, not erupting in full force, but lava swatches are being reported around the volcano. It's possible that this could turn into a situation like what happened a few years back in Iceland, where a volcano actually spurted out a large amount of ash that caused planes to be grounded for multiple days. Or this could turn into another Mount St. Helens, which would mean a full eruption. The volcano though in question here is one of the most historically active volcanoes in the Northern Hemisphere, and it recently had an active eruption in 2001. So the world will continue to watch this and see what happens. As for me, since I don't live in Alaska, not too worried, Though, if you do live in Alaska, keep safe out there. And last, let's jump into a world filled with cats, gifs or gifs, and well, like the rest of the web, X-rated content. Tumblr, of course, and not all of those topics are combined into one, because 
That would just be weird. If you're a big fan of Tumblr, and I know I am, and hey, you can even follow the now on Tumblr if you want to, because you know, it's freaking awesome. Anyway, getting back to the story here, it looks like Yahoo may be looking at Tumblr as its next acquisition. But how much could this huge collection of cat gifs sell for? Well, according to some, Yahoo is looking to spend $1 billion on Tumblr. Yes, that's right, $1 billion. Keeping in mind, that's the same amount of money that Facebook spent to buy Instagram over a year ago. This could be big for the company and the platform, though it's unsure what Yahoo who would want with Tumblr, there must be a reason to buy it because, well, companies don't usually just drop a billion dollars on something they don't really need. Well, unless you're Apple because they have $120 billion in the bank. And I don't mean like that's how much the companies work. I mean, like literally they could make it rain $120 billion. That's a lot of like, I think your hand would get sore. Just to put it in perspective here, Apple could easily make Scrooge McDuck's like money pool thing a reality and they'd still have like a ton of money left over. But back to the Tumblr thing here, it kind of makes me wonder, are you a Tumblr fan? And if so, what do you enjoy the most on the surface? For me, it has to be like cat pictures, especially tiger ones, because you know, we all know I have like a love affair with those things. But anyway, tell me what you love the most on Tumblr. You can let me know in the comment section below, or of course you can always let me know on Facebook, through Twitter, or on Google+. Links to all that and the other topics I talked about in the description below, along with the always amazing subscribe button. So until next time, I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can of course check out more videos that I create by clicking on them below. Check out now for the latest news happening in the world right now, Paradise Gaming for some fun gameplay videos, or of course my personal vlog channel to see what I'm doing outside of my studio. Also, if you're interested in supporting the show and getting some new clothes for yourself, just like this shirt, you can pick up this one if you want, check out the store at thecurtisparitystore.ca. Bye, everyone.